Hello, my name is Darren Hart, Senior Service Technician at Raypack. After watching this video, you will be able to connect the polypropylene venting to an X-Therm. Only Centrotherm polypropylene material is approved for use with the X-Therm. Improper installation, adjustment, alteration, service or maintenance can cause property damage, personal injury, exposure to hazardous materials, or loss of life. Failure to install a condensate drain in the venting system will void all warranties on this heater. Follow Raypack and the vent manufacturer's instructions for installation and location of the condensate drain. Condensate drain must be trapped and primed with water to prevent flue gas leakage and must be routed to an appropriate container for treatment before disposal as required by local codes. The inlet water temperature to the extherm must not exceed 190 degrees Fahrenheit at 100% fire to use the polypropylene venting option. The venting system must conform to local codes and or the current edition of the National Fuel Gas Code. A field installed vent adapter supplied by Raypack must be used to ensure a proper seal of the flue and condensate. The D33 kit will include a required vent temperature limit. The tools you will need are a drill with a Phillips head bit and a 5 16 inch driver, a combustion analyzer, and a measuring tape. The components you will need are a D33 kit, 18 inch vent pipe with drain hole, vent pipe with test port. Elbow, Long John Siphon, Centrosiren Lubricant, Optional Base Support with Bracket. Raypack recommends a minimum of 36 inches from the rear of the unit to the outside of the elbow to allow adequate space for plumbing and service. Using your drill, remove the 12 screws and pull the lower rear access panel off the unit. Assemble the manual reset vent limit switch by inserting the limit through the opening in the gasket and vent limit strap. Slide the vent limit strap and limit on the flue exhaust adapter assembly. Using your drill, tighten the strap, then trim as needed. The vent limit switch must be located on top of the stainless steel flue outlet. Attach the yellow, blue, and white orange vent limit switch wires to the vent limit terminals. Reinstall the lower rear access panel and screws. Slide the two flue exhaust adapter clamps onto the flue exhaust adapter. Slide the silicone rubber gasket halfway onto the adapter, then insert the polypropylene adapter into the gasket and make sure it's seated against the flue exhaust adapter. Move the two clamps over the silicone rubber gasket and tighten to secure. Before installing polypropylene, Ensure the gray gasket is properly seated in each piece. Use a small amount of the lubricant along the gray gasket. Install the 18-inch vent pipe with drain hole. Install the elbow into the 18-inch vent pipe. Install the vent pipe with the test port hole facing the side of the unit. Install the long john siphon on the 18-inch vent pipe with drain hole. Route the long john siphon drain hose to an appropriate condensate treatment system. The polypropylene elbow should slope a quarter inch per foot towards the unit for proper drainage. Use a measuring tape and adjust as necessary. Continue installing the remainder of the vent material until it exits the building. Spacers must be used when penetrating walls and ceilings. Any horizontal run of vent pipe must be supported a minimum of every five feet. It is important to check your unit's combustion. Remove test port plug. Adjust the combustion analyzer probe to extend only to the middle of the vent pipe. Insert the probe tip into the vent and thread it in until secure. Run the combustion analysis with the unit at full fire and properly adjust your CO2 and your CO. After the combustion test is complete, remove the probe and reinstall the test port plug. The venting system should be examined at least once a year. Check all joints and vent pipe connections for tightness, corrosion, or deterioration. For more information about this product, visit our website at raypack.com. Please subscribe to the Raypack channel on YouTube for future how-to videos.